the way this works, it's a conversion of a 200cc engine. It's got electric start. Link is ro uh, rocked in a harmonic motion by a bearing on the uh, flywheel. And this moves this back and forth, this arm, which rocks that shaft. This shaft, there's two lever arms attached to it, and this one, uh, you can see it's going down, and that's the exhaust valve right here. This is the intake valve, and it operates underneath. The intake is, uh, this is half inch pipe thread, because I wanted to have free breathing engine, and there are two exhausts, they're 3 8 inch pipe thread, and also I, uh, I've got a um, eighth inch pipe thread, both top and bottom, where you can put a uh, cylinder bleed, which is always a good thing, I put a cylinder bleed valve when you're starting up. And I've got an eighth inch uh, pipe thread here, which I would uh, sometimes run a quarter inch copper tube when I was running on steam, just so that uh, pressure wouldn't build up in the crankcase. On this side, we have the power takeoff. You can put a torque converter or a centrifugal clutch or a shiv or a, uh, a sprocket, whatever you have in mind. This is the electric start. Uh, so I will uh, run this thing on air first so you can take a look at it. Uh, as far as power goes, I don't really know, but it performed every bit as well as it did with the 7 horsepower internal combustion engine that I replaced, as you'll be able to see in the video. So I will connect some air to this and we'll see it running on air. Okay, this is running on about 30 PSI and here you can see the link going around that is rocking this shaft and activating the exhaust valve. The uh, inlet valve is uh, from underneath, you can't see it. And this is the power takeoff side. And I just looked at the air compressor and this is running on about 25 PSI. All the levers are taper pinned to this shaft and I use Loctite on all the connections because I usually run this engine at 2500 RPM and I haven't had any uh, problems with anything coming loose on it. I'll now uh, run it on 100 PSI. It won't run for long as I have just a very small compressor, but you can see it at higher speed. In fact, the tank's running out now. And so now I just uh, do the solenoid start button.